Time for my dogs on the south side, two times for the west and the east coast. Two times for the hoes and the snake shit. Lot of hot chips, gotta do the people. Took the sand where they at, they ain't wanna shit. Took the vine and the twine with the beat though. They can't take nothing from me. Uh, nah. One time for my dogs on the south side. Yo, what's good, Macho Sports? Flex. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I found something. Get your ass back, I lied to you. Let's get you ain't find shit. What you got, man? This is this is ass back of the week. Hold on, man. I got this guy hidden history. Who you got? Who you got this week, eh? This guy, this guy is the only NBA guy to score a quadruple one in a playoff game. Playing 28 minutes, running around, you get one point. So that means you have to only score one point at the free throw line. You get one rebound. So that means the one shot you took, you miss. You get one rebound, one assist, and one block. And uh, throughout the whole 28 minutes you played. Who who did that? His name is Jay Crowder from the Phoenix <laughs> Suns. Hey, Devin. Get your ass back because your team needs you. Devin Booker's out. You know what's funny? LeBron fell and Zeke fell. You see the Only ties? Two players. Yeah, that's because they're both falling off. The Lakers and the Cowboys. But, man, dude, how you going to be? And you're a starter at that. You're a starter. You, you only scored one, 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 one across the board the whole 28 minutes. How you think Chris Paul felt? How you think he, he – did he even talk to you after the game, Jay? Let me, let me see if you were Jay Crowder. What would you do if I interviewed you? Well, how what would you say if you how would you would you even talk to the media after a game like that? Yeah, I mean I'm still getting paid, dude. Huh? I'm a starter, the fuck. Yeah, but you only score one point. Hey man, I got pay, I, I get paid to play basketball. Period. I don't care what people got to say. People out there judging me that they can't even they can't even make it to the NBA. So. I would be okay with it, man. You know, it happens. Somebody's got to get it one time. But to me, in history. Look, look. If the NBA player, NBA association needs more players like that, I'm on call. You know what I'm saying? I could put those type of stats up. So we can look at his contract, and I can guarantee that every night. One point. One point. One assist. One block. Maybe I might not get that rebound, but I might get everything else. Maybe not the block, <laughs> but I get a steal. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Like, I, I'm, up, I'm up for it, man. So, if the NBA looking for another player on that type of stature, give your boy a call. But, yeah, man, I got a different ass back, man. I ain't helping Zico. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, I, I want to call another NBA player, bro. Who would that be? This guy, this guy don't know how to take a... a uh, trash talking serious or he takes it too serious if you ask me he says he's gonna have that same type of energy back for the fans talking about Kyrie Irving you can't talk shit to this man no more you know what I mean because he, he's more likely to start talking shit back he was over here flicking people off cussing the fans back while losing to Boston <laughs> they over here find him fifty dollars fifty thousand dollars my bad and then at halftime, he, he was caught telling the, the fans, suck my dick, bitch. Yeah, they can't say it, but we can. So I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and say these things because, I mean, it's, you got to also see it from Kyrie's side, man. I kind of feel for him because he's saying that, you know, they start talking too much shit. Like, when is, when is enough enough? I mean, when you blow a, what was it, a 20-point lead to Boston, like, of course they're going to talk shit to you. Yeah, I mean, but they keep calling him pussy, bitch, fucker. So, I mean, how much are you going to take but, but until you... What if you're at a restaurant with your family and then there's some dude out of nowhere starts calling you bitch, pussy, motherfucker. Suck my dick, bitch. They start telling you all these words. But you got to know what... You know, you know all that, that celebrity lifestyle is going to come to you when it becomes sports-related like that. Yeah, I think he got to have to know... You got to come with all that smoke, you know. You gotta know. You gotta. You gotta realize what you signed up for. Well, Kyrie, I guess, hasn't figured it out because 
he must have some thin ass skin. Man, I just think just it's, remember, it's, remember, I just remember, because remember, I just think it's that vegan, that vegan lifestyle he started. Just you know, he's like he does. He goes sometimes without eating before games. Like he, he like just drink nothing but water. Like he's trying a different like vegan. Style I don't know if that's diet. what it is, but. He needs to uh, uh, toughen up a little bit, if you ask me, because... It's playoff time. I mean, this ain't the first time. Remember, not that long ago, uh, he was talking shit to the Cavaliers fan, talking about, I won y'all championship, too. Yeah, but then... So like, he keeps... This is the second the, time but, he... But look, you know what's funny, though? Like, we're talking about the situation right here, right? So I'm going to bring LeBron just one up one time, right? He brought... It, he defeated that whole Boston team they got now by himself in the Eastern Conference Finals. But Kyrie Irving and, and Kevin Durant, the, one of the best duos, they've said, athletic-wise, you know, that they're having trouble with them. So what was LeBron at this year? All by himself. He was about to. He got hurt in half the season. Oh. Yeah. I don't think that's why they missed the playoffs, though. But you know what? Uh, for Kyrie and LeBron, <laughs> did you want to bring them up? They both can get their ass back and and, and watch these playoffs. Because Kyrie, bro, you need to start worrying about the fans and start worrying about these L's y'all taking. Because that's two in a row. Don't let it be three because then y'all are real trouble. You need to focus on uh, w- getting this dub. And LeBron, I don't know, the crude season, I guess, right? The gym, sir. The gym, whatever. Go back to the gym. Go back to recruiting. But it didn't work out this year. So that, that, that's who I got for my ass back. I don't know if you got any favorable mentions, Ken. Or if y'all got anybody else y'all want to call out for ass back of the week. Anybody else you can think of? What about Mike Tyson? What happened, Mike Tyson? Uh, Mike Tyson over there knocking people out on planes. Oh, man. I don't know. I didn't really hear about it. But I heard it wasn't really Mike Tyson's, but you know your hands are registered of registered weapons, so you're at fault at any time. What did he do? Knock someone out? Yeah. That's not a surprise. That's all this man did. I don't know if he ate the ears, though. <laughs> yeah, but uh, let us know, man, if y'all if y- got any ass backs of the week. So far... That's all we got right now, right, Ken? Yeah, that's all I have for this week was just uh, Kyrie. So uh, go ahead and uh, strike out that like button, sack the subscribe button. And dunk your comment down below. This is Macho Sports Flex. We're checking out. You're back, son. Get your ass back. Work then, work again. What goes around comes around. Cycle continuing. Mind on my money. I'm all about dividends. Only catch flights to you all of your feelings. Kid bumping tips and JR know that they feeling it. All in their mouth like a feeling is. Go bring a dentist in. I've been tuned in like I'm off of that rhythm. And high-